Guys, one of the questions I get a lot is, don't you feel bad about using offshore stuff when there's people in my local economy who could be having a job? No, not at all. I'm gonna tell you a story about the very first estimator I hired offshore. A guy named Kiet, um, and he lived in Vietnam. Kiet has a PhD in civil engineering. Um, now, Kiet is a, well, was a lecturer, senior lecturer at Ho Chi Minh City International University. He was paid as, you know, Vietnam's communist country, all universities controlled by the state. He was paid by the state, and he got 150 US dollars a month. Now, this is a guy who's gone and done years of university to get his bachelor degree, and then gone and got his master's degree, then his PhD, and he's a lecturer teaching the next generation of people in his country, in Vietnam, to grow up to do the things that make themselves better, to become a civil engineer in this case. And he was earning 150 US dollars a month. When he started working for us, he worked full-time, 45 hours a week, and we paid him 600 US dollars a month for that. That's 7,200 US a year. It was 10, 11 grand Australian, right? Not a lot of money to us, but it was four times as much as he was already earning. He kept lecturing. He just took away the stuff that he didn't enjoy doing anymore, the marking, the grading, the setting papers. He actually hired from the money we paid him an administrative assistant from his student base to help him with all of that stuff that he didn't enjoy. So his income went up fivefold, from 150 to 750 total US a month. Now for him, that was life-changing, absolutely life-changing. Um, he sent me a, an email that I still keep. Dear Mr. Craig, thank you so much. I wanted to send you this photo. In the photo where, where he's three kids, he's got four now, but at the time there were three kids, all dressed in these white shirts with, with blue ties, and the girls had the little freaking, I don't know, blue tie thing that girls wear on school uniforms, saying, my kids are now able to go to the best university in Ho Chi Minh City. Thank you so much, Mr. Craig. It's because of you. Now, that still sends shivers down my spine. For, what, 11 grand Australian a year, we changed his life and we changed the future of those three kids. They were able to go to the best school available to them because we engaged their dad to work for us for 11 grand Australian a year. Now, over time with bonuses, because we incentivize all of our virtual estimators, on two things, accuracy and, qual and uh, quantity, so how many dollars you're quoting and how accurate are you. Um, he, uh, he earns roughly you know, between 20 and 24,000 Australian a year. Right? Over time, he sent me more emails about when his parents stopped working. They lived as a family unit, his parents lived with them. Dear Mr. Craig, thank you for so much. My parents don't have to work anymore. And his wife got to stop working. You know, another Dear Mr. Craig email. We have changed that family's life in the most incredible way and it's cost us 24 grand a year. We've got the most dedicated employee. We had another one in Serbia. She said, look, I'm really sorry, I'm gonna to have to stop working for six weeks because I have to have a baby. We gave her six months paid maternity leave. For us, it wasn't much. You know, it was paid at the $600 base rate, so it cost us, what, five and a half thousand Australian dollars? Just rusted on to us forever. Those are the sort of things that you dream of being able to do. You know, we'd love to be able to give paid maternity leave for six months to employees, but it's just such a big cost. We can do that with virtual staff. And you want to say, but don't you feel bad because you didn't change the life of an Australian? What, because we won the lottery of life and were born in this country? We're already blessed with so, so many things. If things go pear-shaped, you can still go on the doll. You've got universal health care. You don't have to live on the street if you choose not to. These guys don't have those opportunities. They are smart, ambitious, well-educated, and just aren't living in Australia. Do I feel bad about hiring them? Not even close. I am awed that I'm given the opportunity to hire those people and make a difference in their lives like I did with Kiet and his kids. I hope that answers my position on it, guys.